Hey guys, my name is Brian Lee and welcome back to another exciting tutorial here in Photoshop. This is part two of manipulating a bed. You can see part one if you go back to lesson 10. I've been getting a little bit more comments about how to take the bed in a, from a three quarter view to a front view. Um, so I just wanted to show you how to put it on the back wall in this tutorial. I am going to be moving a little bit faster in this tutorial versus lesson 10. So if it's a little too fast, go back to lesson 10, check that out. And uh, we're going to be following the very similar principles in this tutorial. So uh, let's get started. Hit L. Again, just start segmenting this out and the different pieces I'll need. And J. L. Just guessing on, uh, on what I'm going to need at this point. Command J, L, let's go ahead and make a nice Command J, turn that off. All right, so let's take this. Just do this one at a time. Uh, so I'll group them, Command G, T. Send this back and kind of figure out exactly where I think I'm gonna want this in the room. Maybe, maybe somewhere about here. Yeah. Let's move it over a little bit. Give itself some room. Cool, so now let's just uh, put these pieces into perspective individually. I like to move them as a group just because it keeps everything in the same orientation. Okay, T. Uh, I also want this wing to be the same on both sides. Command T, flip horizontal. Let me make this one a little bit thinner since we are we're not going to be looking at it exactly head on just because I think that would be boring and I don't know. I don't know if a client would get a good idea of uh, what the bed is all about if we had it directly head on. So that's cool for now. And let's just get the side of this bed in perspective. Command T, perspective. And I just need to follow this line. Maybe that's a little bit too deep. Let's squeeze it back a little bit more. Right click perspective again. Okay, so that looks all right. Then let's take the front of the bed. Gonna need to pull that over here. Command T. Right click perspective. And then squeeze this out. Raise it up just slightly. All right. So I'm thinking that the back of the bed just needs to be a little bit wider. Okay, so see we have a bit of an issue because there's a big gap where the covers and blankets should be. So let's see what we can grab from the original. I'll try to, uh, to use, use what we can from that. So maybe I can grab this sheet here. Hit Command J. Move that up. Turn the original off. Command T. Let 
we'll put this little piece into perspective. I'm being pretty rough about it right now. So that looks like it might work. I'm going to drag that layer down underneath the other layers. Yeah, we're getting there. So I'll hit E, the eraser tool. I'm going to hit zero, and that's actually going to give me 100% opacity on the eraser tool. And I'm using the bracket keys to adjust the size of my eraser tool tip. Cool. Um, I think I'm done with these lines. Let's zoom in here a little bit and see what kind of polish we can add to this. I think we can actually take this back part of the bed, scale it down a little bit more. To get those pillows in a better spot, Command D to deselect. And let's just put these covers under those pillows as well. And then just kind of erase some of this hard lines going on by the pillows. I'm going to hit, actually, let's just duplicate this pillow. Hit Command J. Move that on over. Command T. I'm going to flip it. See if I can warp it into a better, happier place. And delete some of the excess garbage. One pillow, two pillows. Make sure you move this one. Okay. So it's just looking a little bit too narrow. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit wider. Squeeze it down a little bit. Maybe even remove or squeeze this wing in a little bit more. Cool. So there you have it, guys. We now have a couple tutorials out there with how to move a bed around in, in 3D space. So hopefully we're covered as far as moving beds around. If not, Please let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to answer any questions or make new tutorials. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and receive new tutorials every week that will help you master Photoshop for interior design. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.